What's up, y'all? It's the Sports Mix. Big Kenny. Checking in. Hey, don't forget, man. Like, comment, share. Subscribe to the channel, man. So, NBA season is, is about a week old. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't really get in the NBA mode really until All-Star. You know, right now it's all about the NFL for me. Um, I pay attention to the NBA, but I don't really like, I'm not locked in yet. You know, I'm not one to judge teams, you know, early on. I think I think there's something to be said about teams coming together, teams gelling. And uh, you know, you, you really can't judge a team till about maybe the first first month or so with the NBA. Um, you know, it's an eighty two game season. At the team get about twenty, twenty five games under the belt. You know, without injuries or something, you get an idea of who they are. <clears throat> you know, about oh, 20, 25 games in, you kind of can see, um, you know, who they are, what their what their makeup is, where they may need to make some improvements at, stuff like that. So, I, I you know, I see I see a lot of um, cause I know the Lakers, the Sixers. And there was another team that was 0 and 3 already. And you know, you read the little, you read the comments, you read the blog. Now I'll be I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. I haven't watched no NBA games yet. I haven't watched the NBA game yet. So I haven't seen anything other than highlights. And um But I'm talking about we three we talking about three games. I'm saying people talking about uh teams need to blow it up. Uh, coaches need to be fired. You know, GMs need to be let go. People need to be traded. Yeah, we're talking about three out of 82, right? The Lakers was bad last year. You know, I personally don't think LeBron and 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 Russell Westbrook can coexist simply because both of them guys dominate the ball. You know, and you, I mean, so somebody's game is not going to translate. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if the way you play, you have to have the ball in your hand to do what you do. Um. So I, I, I didn't think that was going to work. I, I gave it a chance in the beginning last year just because I said, all right, these guys are veterans. They pros. They may be able to figure it out. But after I saw them, Last year and toward the end of last year, I was like, you know, it's not a good fit. I, I think I think Russ probably need to be somewhere where he could kind of dominate the ball a little bit more and kind of play the way he's accustomed to playing. But I say all that, you know, whether they whether they whether they trade him before the trade deadline this year, whether the Lakers figure it out at some point. Which, which you know, I don't see happening, and I haven't seen them this year. So you know, with the the new pieces they added, and if AD is going to be healthy, which is which is very a very big thing with that team is is he going to even be healthy for the whole season? Um, Anthony Davis, I'm referring to. That's going to make a big difference with that team. But yo, after three games, man. After three games. And and I and I uh, and I and I got this thing about fans, you know, because we we are fanatical. We love our teams, and we want to be the coach, the general manager. We want to be the star player. We want to know how things should be going, know how people should play, know what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. At the three games, y'all gotta settle down a little bit. Shout out! Shout out to. Uh, Nori, settle down. Settle down. You got to relax. You got to relax. You got to relax. Got to relax. <laughs> it's only three games, people. You know, they're not going to go 0 for 82. You know, none of those teams are going to go 0 and 82. Whether or not they write the ship. Philly, Philly has a very strong team. 
you know, they've been competing for the Eastern Conference uh, Championship the last couple years. They've been right there at the top of the Eastern Conference. You know, people people talking bad about Doc Rivers, whether or not he's a good coach or not. I haven't heard the players that played for Doc say that he wasn't a good coach. I tend, I tend to go by what the players say rather than how people feel about it. You know, we, we like I said, as fans, we look at the result. You know, we're not in the locker room with these guys. We're not in practice. We're not in the gym with them working it out. Or we don't really know how Doc relates to his players and things like that. Um, but it's early. You know, it's early, man. We got to relax a little bit. 0-3 is not the end of the world. If if they go 0-10, 0-15, any of those teams, I believe the heads will roll. Something will happen if it gets that bad, you know. But let's 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 let it play out a little bit, you know. Before uh, we start, we start, uh, you know, making these wholesale changes and firing people and getting rid of this person and getting rid of that person. Let it play out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm not a Sixers. I'm a I'm a basketball fan. I don't have an NBA team that I follow behind like that. So I, I just I tend to watch the games, man. I like, I'm a LeBron guy. I like LeBron, but I got you know I just like the players, man. I like I don't have a team, so you know I like I like John Morant. As, as, you know the, some of the young guys. I like John Morant. Um, I think he, I think he's a dynamic player. Um. You know, uh, 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 what's my young guy? I'm blanking on these names, man. But I'm, I'm gonna get into the NBA in a little bit. You know, as we as we get go along in the season, you know, I'll be doing a little more NBA talk. Um, but I, I just been kind of watching the blogs and watching the you know the sites, man, and people talking about these zero and three starts and. You know, all the changes need to happen. It's us 0 and 3. We're talking 0 and 3 is 80. <laughs> you know, there's 79 more games left to play. You know, re relax, fans. It's, 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 it's going to be okay. You know, it's going to be okay. Let's talk in February. You know, January, February, when we get to that all star break and see see how things looking then and before that trade deadline and see, see what kind of moves need to be made but at that point. But uh, I just wanted to touch on that, man. It's the, it's the NBA getting started. You know, Christmas Day is usually a big day for the NBA. That's usually when I kind of really start paying attention around Christmas Day. So um, appreciate y'all, man. Like, comment, share. Subscribe to the channel, please. Thank y'all for y'all support. Hey, yesterday was our one-year anniversary at the Sports Mix, man. You know, one year under my belt. Trying to trying to keep it going, trying to just get better with this whole uh, podcasting and you know put it putting out content, man. So thank y'all for this. Thank y'all for those that supported me over the over this first year. You know I'm looking forward to the next year and the years beyond. Just talking sports, chopping it up, having some fun with this thing. You know what I'm saying? If there's anything you want to see on the sports space, anything you want to talk about, just hit me up. You know, we at the Sports Mix 2021 on all platforms, uh, Facebook, IG, Twitter. And uh, I am on TikTok, but I don't think my TikTok is the Sports Mix 2021. But I'm there, you know, just trying to get my content out there, man. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. Thanks for y'all support. Relax. It's a long way. It's a lot of season left. The NBA is just getting started. Peace.